Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Fighters uh, character guide. So this time I'll be talking about uh, Gogeta. In this video I'll be talking about all the optimal combos. Let's that go. is from mid-screen as well as to the corner. In, that includes the sparking combo and the touch of death combos. So I'll be talking about all of them and after that I'll be explaining the block strings or other things which you need to know to pressure the opponents and few other tricks. Okay, with that said, hope you guys will enjoy this guide. If it does, please do leave a like, all right? And just before I talk about the guide, I wanted to talk about a company named BenQ. They reached out to me in order to review the screen bar or the screen lamp so that I can let my audience know how exactly is the product. Now I have been using this product for a month now and I have to say it has been really helpful for me to do all kinds of work whether it's reading, playing video games or watching a movie or some sort of. It has an ambient sensor as well as a temperature control, brightness control. And this is how the product looks in my setup. Yep, this is my setup right here and on the right screen you can see the screen lamp. It's lighting up the whole area. And it helps me to like do my work easily without any strain on the eyes. So that's the one thing that I observed. Now if you're interested to get one of these, please do go ahead and check the description because I put all the links there in order for you to get one. All right, so now back to the guide. Now first off is the extended one combo. So this can only be done in mid screen and the corner. So keep that in mind. And uh, you can do this by doing the crouching medium, standing medium, jump cancel, light, light, into Quatsuko, back, medium, then heavy, special, down special, into super dash, light, light, jump cancel, light, light, then heavy, into Quatsuko, forward, light, medium, medium. So that's the complete combo here. Now, once you do this combo, you can complete it by calling the assist. I think you all know how to use the assist at the end of the combo to get a little bit more extra damage from the combo here. And it does about 73% damage at the end of the combo. Now, if you're not near the corner, that means you should be doing this particular combo here. Now, let me try to explain how you can do this. This is a basic combo. You do the crouching medium, standing medium, jump cancel, light light, into heavy, super dash, light light, jump cancel, light light, heavy, into Quotsuko, forward light light light. So that's the whole combo here. Now after this there's two options. So you can either go with the Quotsuko forward R1, which is this super. Now it does about 48% damage as a whole and if you do the other one which is quadruple forward RT you have to do this right before you reach the ground a little bit early this does about 49% damage and the next one is the extended combo in the corner so this startup is through the light auto combo startup now after that this would be the optimal corner combo now you can do this by doing the first three hits of the light auto combo, then jump up or jump jump cancel into heavy, then light 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 again, medium, jump cancel, light light, heavy, special down special into super dash, light light, jump cancel, light light, into quadsuko forward light, medium, medium. So that would be the complete combo here. You won't be able to use the heavy at the end in the air. Now, you can follow up again by using the assist at the end to extend the combo a little bit more and to get the damage maybe around 66%, um, yeah. So that's pretty good with the light auto combo starter. You're getting a 66% damage, so that is good. Next up is the sparking loop combo. So this is kind of simple, but I'll try to explain it in slow motion so you guys can understand better. So you can do this by doing heavy into sparking or quotes go back special after heavy. That also works into sparking. Then you do the crouching medium heavy, 
special jump cancel heavy instant air dash medium into heavy that has to be faster so keep that in mind and then you repeat the same thing so that's the loop right there after that you can uh, continue with the extend combo so that's the basics of the sparking combo and note that don't use the loop two times if you haven't gotten used to it using it one time should be enough to kill the opponent okay so next up is the sparking combo one so in this combo you'll start the combo off by having 0.5 bars because without that you will not be able to get four bars at the end and this combo is pretty easy you don't have any sparking loop involved so that means it's relatively simple to do all right so let me go ahead and explain how you can do this in slow motion so you can do this by doing heavy into Quatsuko back special then you go sparking dash forward into crouching medium heavy and special jump cancel heavy special down special dash forward heavy into special down special then super dash light light into quad circle forward light medium medium so you have to do this really quickly though and then use the assist dragon rush and thereafter you can uh, use the supers to finish off the uh, opponent so that should be simple to do 100% damage with only 0.5 bars that's insane next is the sparking combo 2 next is the sparking combo 2 so this is from 0 bar start so this is kind of really tough to do well that's what I felt but if it's easy for you to do then it should be fine I mean I have team Gohan so that's why I'm doing this particular type of combo at the end but you can do like Gotenks and get a Dragon Rush at the end okay so you can do this by doing heavy into Quatsuko back special then sparking dash forward into crouching medium heavy special jump cancel heavy dash forward medium into heavy then special jump cancel heavy into special down special then up special into down special then use the quadcycle forward mediums and then use goku assist then special down special into gohan assist into quadcycle back medium then do the super i know it's really tough but if you follow the notations it should be enough to like do the combo there you go you have 100 percent damage with zero bar start Next up is the Sparking Solo Combo 3. So this is the same as Sparking Combo 1, but except at the end you do the Vanish. That is right about here into Quadcycle Forward Heavy. Three hits. After that you do the level 5 Super. So that should be enough to kill the opponent. Now note that you need to have four bars at the beginning of the combo in order to kill the opponent. So that's the only thing. Man, that looks awesome. Now the last one is the Sparking Combo 4. So you do this by directly by doing the heavy into Sparking. And then you do the Sparking Loops two times. And then you go with the Sparking Combo 2. Assist into Dragon Rush. Then Gohan Assist into Quad Circle Back Special. After that you go with the Supers to end the combo as well as to kill the opponent, right? Now that is... A little bit tough to do but if you know how to do the sparking loop I have explained at the beginning that then it should be easier to do it okay so next up is the block strings and other tactics that you need to know okay first off is the late auto combo so after you do the late auto combo you jump off to a further away distance the opponent will not be able to get to you and you can use the assist and dash back when you jump to pressure the opponent so you can even super dash but you have to time it right and then you can uh, do an overhead as well as a low mix up to mix up the opponent next is the after the first three hits of the light auto combo you can get an instant snapback so you have enough time to do the uh, dragon rush there 
or a few other stuff so I'll show you in a bit so you can do that or you can do the dash forward into medium and then continue the combo but I really do not suggest you to do that because the combo damage is not more okay next coming to the Quotsuko forward light into medium so after you do the medium you can do the dash forward into overhead so keep that in mind so you can pressure the opponent by doing the dash forward and then get the opponent uh, off guard next up is the block strain so which you can use during a match so this is pretty like the gap is pretty tight and the opponent will not be able to know that and also the after you do the quadruple forward light or medium the frame advantage is minus five for you and you're two three steps away from the opponent so if they don't have long normals they won't be able to get to you and also don't forget the down heavy so you can use that during a block string and then dash forward so use the assist to to cover the gap and then use the down heavy to dash forward that's a perfect way to do it when you can also use the down special and then pressure the opponent like this next up is the corner setup so you can do this by doing the quad circle forward special and hold it in any direction you want that is up up back or you don't hold anything if you don't hold anything you'll be on the ground so after you do that you can dash forward which is insane so the opponent will not be able to guess what you're doing so try to pressure them through this because this is like you can also get a cross up like this and it's insane and then you can probably go with the grab that is the quote circle back special so it will keep the opponent guessing so keep that in mind next up i wanted to talk about the quad circle back light medium and heavy versions because i feel these are really important as it is a dp kind of vegeta type so the quad circle back light is used to dp the air dash or air attacks now the medium version is used for all of them and if you do the medium version you get a wall bounce and then in the corner you'll get a combo out of it so do remember that and one more thing about Quotsuko Back Medium is you'll get a Dragon Rush after that, so you can do a snapback. That's really important. And if you're in the other side, you can do this. So you can actually do the Quotsuko Back Medium, and then when you get a wall bounce, air dash into Quotsuko Forward Light. You have to do this really quickly though. And coming to the heavy version, so it will bring back to your side in the corner and thereafter you can follow up with the crouching medium and then combo into it or do the extend combo. That works. Now if you're in mid screen and get a super dash, you can do the heavy into Quotsuko Forward Special and get a knockdown after that. So you can keep that in mind. This works uh, anywhere on the screen. That's so really useful to get a knockdown after that and you can also do the quad circle back medium if you're near the corner and then do the heavy special down special into down heavy so that would be near the corner now don't do this uh, in mid screen because it's not gonna work all right next up is the snapback pressure so when you do the snapback you can do the jump into heavy then call the assist then do quad circle forward special, hold it anywhere you want or point it in any direction you want and then pressure the opponent. So that is a really, really good tool to, to keep the opponent guessing and you can play with them. And the next thing would be the assist. So it works in the same way as Goku, base Goku. So keep that in mind. Now for Team Gohan, I'm using the Quad Circle Forward Light legs into the assist, then jump up and do the extreme combo. Now keep in mind that after doing the assist, you can get a snapback or a dragon rush. So you can get that too. That's there. And on the ground, if you get the Gogeta's assist, you can do a crouching medium and then extend the combo or a standing medium into extended combo that also works 
14 Gohan, I practice the quad circle forward medium up to legs because it, it has insane range. Or you can do the late auto combo. So that works too. Okay, next would be to talk about the synergy between the one bar super of Gogeta as well as other characters. Now here, for instance, I'm using Adult Gohan and then you can follow up with the Dragon Rush. You can do the snapback if you want. You can do the same thing with Cell. After you do the Cell 1 bar super, you'll get a Dragon Rush. There you go. It works with TN2. Now the other thing which I wanted to talk about is after you do the 1 bar super with Gogeta, it has enough uh, frame advantage to get the Spirit Bomb after that, so that is good. Next up is the safe jump after the level 3. So that you need to delay the mediums when you dash forward and try to overhead them. So when you do that, it will be safe. So you, you can keep that in mind. They can't do anything there. And the other thing which I noticed is the Stardust Super is not... The damage scaling is not the same everywhere. In mid-screen it does more, in the corner it does less, so I would suggest you to go with the normal Quad Circle Forward RT instead of this one. Okay, so I think that's about it. I hope I have covered all of the uh, tricks or tips which you need to know for Gucci. And hope this helped. Please do leave a like if it did, because that really helps out my channel. And with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.